Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Rightway Options, and this is the morning market preparation video for November 20th, 2018. Well, yesterday, if you guys remember, I was looking at the Q's chart and suggesting this was my biggest concern. Um, we didn't want to see the Nasdaq falter uh, because I said the the possibility of it pulling the rest of the market lower uh, was certainly there, and unfortunately, that is what ended up happening. The Wall Street Journal yesterday reported um, uh, on a story that uh, Apple has uh, dramatically cut its production of the new iPhone, and also. Um, raised questions about leadership, uh, the leadership at uh, Facebook. And consequently, that really started a tumble. So we see the NASDAQ pulling back sharply here. And it really is um, uh, telling about what's going on um, in that tech sector when we see Apple um, falling so sharply. Apple dropping to new lows and likely going to seek this target down in here, this support level. Um, we see um, selling across the board um, in a lot of tech areas. Um, Amazon, Amazon looking lower here, testing these lows this morning, gapping down to the October lows. Uh, we have Microsoft that saw a sell-off yesterday, pushing down to this downtrend line. Um, all across uh, the tech sector, we saw uh, technical damage being created. And then Facebook dropping uh, substantially yesterday on that news. So unfortunately, the tech sector did pull us down. And um, luckily, it didn't create too terrible much damage here in the Dow. The Dow held up relatively well, considering. And this morning is looking to gap down and break supports. So unfortunately, at the moment, uh, Dow futures are now down 200 over 200 points for a substantial gap down. And that puts us at the risk of moving on lower to test these levels of support down here. We didn't want to see that happen. We wanted to see this trend hold on, but it looks like at the open, we'll, we're going to give that up. And if there's follow through selling after the gap down open, we could certainly see uh, these levels get tested down here. So watch that closely. Um, no one wants to see this kind of thing happening, but you know, the good news of, of a sell off like this is that great prior, or great stocks will eventually settle at a lower uh, price and we'll be able to pick up bargains. But I know why that is going on. It's a painful process. And particularly if you're trying to trade this, I, I really tried to caution everyone to be careful about not doing much trading this week because of um, the holiday coming and the very likelihood that volumes will drop off pretty dramatically on Wednesday. So be real careful about how you trade this. Um, hopefully you're not being hurt uh, badly by, by this uh, this morning. Also keep in mind that we don't want to chase the short position. Um, with, a, with a big gap down like we're seeing this morning, we, we want to be careful not to chase because there is always that possibility that with a gap down open like this, that um, we could gap down and bounce back. So you want to watch for that potential. Make sure you have an opportunity um, to to watch those charts. Make sure there's actually follow through selling, that this isn't just an engineered move by the big institutions to get people to chase short so that they um, start buying the market back up. So watch that close. Um, this easily could be, though, um, additional selling coming in today and um, a, a rapid descent here in the market. Uh, so watch that. 
uh, because we, we do see if we take a look at the VIX, the VIX did hold on to this price support yesterday and the VIX will likely spike up here today. Now that's okay as long as it stays within this downtrend. But if, if the VIX spikes and really climbs above here, we could easily see some fear kind of uh, turn into panic with um, some strong selling as we move into the holiday, just to everyone protecting their accounts as we head into the holiday. So watch that uh, very carefully. If we take a look at um, um, IWM, IWM, certainly held on to a support yesterday gapping down this morning um, would indicate the possibility of a test of the october lows now so be really careful on how you approach this market today let's take a look um, um, once again at that vix chart and as long as we stay below that that downtrend, we're, we will probably be okay. But if that spikes up, let's keep in mind that if we get a spike, if that fear kind of turns into panic, and I'm not saying that it will, but the possibility does exist. If that fear turns into panic, we get these big, big shooting spikes. And if the selling starts to cascade on itself today, um, be real careful of that. We could get some of that panic coming in. So again, be really careful not to chase this short uh, after such a big gap because um, if we don't get that panic, we could easily catch a support level and those institutions start picking stuff up. Uh, stuff up off of that October low. So it's going to be a tough challenge. Uh, um, if you're a swing trader, it's really a tough challenge uh, for that unless you trade intraday because the volatility of the market will definitely be spiking up this morning. Let's take a look at T21. 22 t21 22 the four week new high new low ratio as you can see that four week um, um, ratio on here showing us that we have plenty of room still to move to the downside that gap down opens opening that door for that downside move it also tells us that the further we go down in here as we move down toward these lows the possibility of that bounce whoops i'm sorry this is a there we go that I had that on a weekly chart um, this certainly has that potential to move down into here pretty sharply so we could reach this short-term oversold condition pretty quickly this morning and we'll want to pay attention to that if uh, that occurs by the way the market is falling sharply at the moment um, we are now down 255 points on the Dow and it continues to fall so um, we're getting a pretty sharp sell-off here at the open it's going to be a little bit painful uh first thing this morning so be careful please be careful um So with that, everyone, let's take a quick look at the economic calendar this morning. We have a couple things that could move the market um, around just a little bit. First off, we have um, housing starts here at 8.30 this morning. Um, those can certainly um, provide some market movement. But really what the market is going to be pretty much focused on is a, a bunch of earnings uh, that are coming out pretty rapidly this morning so for example um, target target reported this morning um, you can see they missed and is indicated sharply lower this morning um, Coles reported this morning sharply lower this morning and we're seeing um, seeing retail um, having some really difficult uh, difficult times right here with TJX also falling. Urban, Urban is one of the few that's actually popping up so far this morning. So lots of um, retail 
um, selling off this morning that's also adding to the pain of this morning um, so keep it keep that in mind um, I truly suggest just kind of standing aside a little bit this morning I'm not going to give any um, any ideas for um, actionable trades this morning however there are trades that you can pay attention to um, that are showing strength in this and that would be maybe some of the utilities showing a nice cup and handle type pattern here showing some strength we see strength in some of the defensive sector stocks like pepsico and coca-cola um, looking uh, strong uh, Verizon holding up very well um, WBA is setting up for a trade um, iTub iTub also setting up for a trade Starbucks continuing to look good here and could be setting up for a trade so there are good stocks out there and there are places to be looking but with the volatility of the market it could be very very challenging and it could sweep even the good stocks into it this morning so watch that carefully and be careful how you approach this market today i wish i could give you some better news and who knows maybe we'll catch that bounce off of those october lows and and santa claus will actually come to town uh, what i wrote in the morning note this morning though is those poor reindeer are, are definitely going to be um, trying to fly against a, a tremendous headwind um, this christmas season with this kind of selling going on so Wait for it, watch for it, make sure you have an edge when you trade. And if, you know, if you've been putting off some things, if you've been putting off, uh, you know, doing some things with the family or whatever, this might be a great week to catch up on some of those things. Get that honeydew list taken care of. Um, you do not have to trade the market every single day to be successful as a trader. Um, as a matter of fact, um, sometimes less trading uh, is better. Uh, when you hold on to that edge. So kind of keep that in mind. Everyone, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you profits. And if this is the first time you've seen these videos, please do me a favor. Click that subscribe button on YouTube, the follow me button on Facebook. Click those thumbs up buttons and drop a comment. I truly appreciate that. And everyone, take care. Be safe today. Be careful. And if you're heading out early for your holiday um, travel, Please have a great Thanksgiving. Um, don't worry about the market. It will be there when you come back. And um, just enjoy time with your friends and family. We have an awful lot to be thankful for in this country. And um, um, sometimes we get so um, overly focused on the market that we tend to forget that. So enjoy your friends and family this holiday season. And we'll talk to you uh, bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone. Mm -hmm.